the disco bed. And they're heavy. Yes, they're definitely heavy. They weigh 36 pounds per bag. So it's definitely not something you're gonna be taking hiking up into the mountains, setting up camp inside of a tent. But are they worth having if I'm using them inside my camper? Today, I'm gonna to be measuring the floor inside my little trailer here. And then I'm gonna to attempt to try to set these up inside, inside the trailer which is something that I think would probably be uh, more realistic in uh, real life events. This is the large size, they make kid size, they make the large, they make the extra large, and they make the 2XL. Me being just just about 5'11", at 20, about a 208, and most of the people that I kind of hang out with are about my size. Maybe a little bit bigger, but they'll do. Oh, they'll have to do anyway. But uh, I'm gonna see if if uh, if I can set it up in here and how how convenient it would be to have a bunk bed set up and how much room I'm gonna have to move around. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, we're gonna measure the space in my little trailer here. So I have approximately 68 inches. So five feet, eight inches from side to side. From back wall to the front wall, we have approximately eight feet, one inch, 97 inches. So the way that these uh, beds work is, hence the name, disco bed. They have these little discs right here that pop out. And snap, snap into these, these end pins right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in. Lock them in place. And I put them here in their place. And that's the first one. Go 
and put the uh, the second. Uh, let's go ahead and put the second cot together, and and see how tall it is. Now I am sweating, but that's because it happens to be 73 degrees today. I am inside my my little trailer, so there's not too much air moving around in here. But uh, the cot is not difficult to put together. It is a little heavy. 36 pounds per cot is is uh, uh you know it's pretty heavy. 72 pounds to have to lug around. It's not a good idea. To, go hiking and try to find a tenting spot uh, somewhere up in the mountains with this on your backpack. But uh, but if you have a trailer just to make more sleeping area space, this seems to be working. So let's go ahead and put the second part on. As far as uh, being able to walk around in here and and do my own thing, uh, I have plenty of room. I, I don't feel crowded at all. Now I will say, I will say this is a this is a pretty uh, pretty heavy setup. Like I said earlier. Uh, and uh, and uh, with two people, you can set it up even faster. If you're by yourself, you can still set it up. But uh, just know that you're probably gonna need a little bit more room than what I had here, which is uh, roughly what would I say, eight by eight by five, five and change. So um, if you're gonna set it up indoors in this this small space, then then yeah, it's a little challenging. Uh, if you have more space than I do, then then you're gonna be more than good. So. Pros and cons. Cons is it's heavy to lug around, so you don't want to lug it too far. Um, another con is uh, you do have to uh, have enough space to to set it up. Pros, it's a cot. It's a it's a it's a bunk bed cot. I mean, if you're in a tent, if you're in a small trailer, if you want to take it traveling, if you want to go to your in-laws' house, yeah neighbor's house your cousin's house brother sister your your wife's uh kicks you out your, your girlfriend whatever you have you have a, a a travel bag with you um maybe you're traveling um it, it just doesn't get better than this it does bring it does bring these these straps that you strap here and on the bottom and it gives it more stable um more, more of a stable platform but honestly i did not feel any shaking at all i'm gonna i would i would definitely put it on for safety purposes but i didn't feel any type of shaking so it's kind of crazy um another pro this is powder coated stainless steel so yeah it's heavy but it's powder coated so it's more durable than just regular paints um and they come in different color and different sizes so again this is a large this works for me another pro Check out the baggie, the little uh, luggage bag here. You have plenty of storage space. You have a, a a bottle holder there. You have you have a mesh here for more, maybe toilet. Uh, I don't know uh, your toiletries or whatever you're bringing for yourself. Uh, you know your your personal items, your phone both both beds bring so definitely a plus i don't know if i'm gonna keep them i do have a 
I do have a another uh, another uh, aluminum cot setup that I do want to try. You're gonna have to check out that video coming up soon. But uh, this is probably a keeper. But uh, once I do the review on the other cot setup, um, I'll decide that. That's it. Um, 36 pounds each, 72 pounds has a package. Of course, you don't have to carry it all at once. You carry one at a time. I believe uh, they are um, doable for me anyway. But uh, what I really like about them is that I can travel with them if I'm visiting family and they don't have extra beds uh, or I'm going somewhere else where I decided to use a tent one day. Uh, but, but for now, more importantly, to use inside my trailer if I'm bringing anybody along on my trips. Is it practical? I don't think so. Uh, they're nice. They're stable. They're comfortable. Um, and I could easily pack them either in here or in my truck and bring them along. Um, I did break a little bit of a sweat, 70 something degrees. And in here there's just not enough air circulation, but uh, it wasn't because it was difficult. Very simple to put along and put together uh, but uh, is it worth I think I paid I think I paid somewhere to four or five hundred bucks that I go back and check uh, closer to five hundred dollars is it worth it I it's a bunk bed you know it's a bunk bed that you can put together when you're camping and you can use it for traveling purposes they're comfortable so are they worth the money I think I'm gonna say yes, yes. And with that said, uh, I will be doing another another review on another aluminum cot that doesn't weigh anything, and see how that fits in here. And but for this one, I am gonna be leaving a, uh, an affiliate link below. Uh, feel free to uh, check it out and see if it's for you. They do come in different sizes, and kids will love this especially. Um, but for now, uh, subscribe, give me that thumbs up, share the video, and. Till next time.